I'm George Boston Ryan speaking on behalf of the workers at Walmart Stores Incorporated wherein the workers do not have any rights for the most part. They are terminated. The work schedules are unbelievable, unpredictable. Husband and wife situations are unbelievable. Often fix your rooms are unsafe and hazardous. Workers can be assigned to any department within Walmart, work all over the place with no rights whatsoever. I was terminated on March 20th, 2008, and I have yet to receive even a courteous reply from the president, the executive board, or any Walmart person in top leadership concerning my wrongful termination, although I was ignored and never given a four-week training program. I journeyed to Bentonville, Arkansas in 2011 along with 140 other associates, department managers, former store managers, and etc. only to be turned away by Walmart executives. This is a journey through what we went through trying to approach the leadership in Bentonville. This is KVCI.blogspot.com. Listen, please. We're still in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We're getting ready to go to Walmart to talk with the corporate office. This is what we're doing. And I'm about to get on the bus myself. Let's go to KVCI, George Boston Rhymes. We are the voice of Walmart for the people and the mistreated people. We are Walmart. We are Walmart. We are Walmart. This is Walmart. We journeyed too, and I think perhaps. Hi guys. This is KBCI.blogspot.com. We are in Fayetteville, Arkansas. This is the bus, one of the two buses that will be going where? Of Walmart. Of what? Walmart. And who are we? Walmart. You all heard them, didn't you? You only get this kind of news on kvci.blogspot.com or on YouTube, Boston United TVR. For respect. United for respect. Any other message to pass on? We want respect. What do we want? Respect. respect. What do we want? Now. What do we want? Respect. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Respect. When do we want it? Now. And now we have a bus driver going to come in and take us to our location. Here again, kvci.blogspot.com. George Boston Ryan, keeping you informed because that's where we do it. Understanding fellowship. If you notice the people was trying out, crying out for respect. Once again, the Honorable Roy C. Carolina Records. At AOL.com is perhaps the best expressor of as we walk and as we put ourselves on the line, what were we doing? <laughs> Working hard for you. Store 2615 here in Valdosta, Georgia. 899. We did it for you. This is why we was marching. why we fight. I do a lot of overtime. We may not get much overtime, but we still are working for you. Working for our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, and our brothers. Trying to improve the 
in working condition at Walmart Stores Incorporated. These were the voices of the employees and former employees mistreated, workers at Walmart Stores Incorporated. I traveled from Valdosta, Georgia. Others traveled from California, Washington State, all around the nation to tell the executives of Walmart, we want to be heard, we want to be respected. Listen, please. kbcr.blogspot.com in force. Where are they going? What are they doing? Understand what we are doing, but we are fighting. We are working. Go and see. We working overtime. We want you to look good. Fighting for equal wages. Workers' rights. There's nothing we wouldn't do for the people we love. This is what it's all about. That's what we want respect. And I've been ignored for four years and seven months. And I travel with these people from all over the United States of America to make a point under the banner of our Walmart for respect.org. We did this so the people would come out of being the state or the zone of being fearful as they work at Walmart store 2615. 899 and other Walmart stores around the nation. I am happy to join the protests across the nation in seven states and I hope it go to the 50 states and outlying territories and say to Walmart we are sick and tired of you treating us as un-American un un uh, 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 citizens as if though we are foreigners with living in America and it is indeed time for a change. And so I just say it to you once again. I believe personally that perhaps Roy C. says the best. This is a strong security guard that we faced in Bentonville, Arkansas. Behind is Walmart home office. They would not even let us cross on their property. 
and we all we had uh, people who are actually employed we had former department managers and managers like myself and yet they ignored us as if though we were zero and so I joined in the protest march against Walmart I'm against and want to to let Mike do and all of the, the, the 15 board of director members know that it is time now for workers' rights to be expect, respected here in the United States of America. You have ignored me and I will not stop. This, that's what got me in the movement when they mistreated me and I'm not going to stick on, stay on that too long because you have seen over 200 videos, over 70 letters I have wrote and they will not even respond to me and you can only ask how many more people they have mistreated and fail, fail to even give them a courteous reply by letter with a date and a valid signature with a job title at the bottom of the page. Walmart can do better, we must demand better and we going to get better. As you can see, they told us to get back on the sidewalk. This is in the United States of America. We have a strong Walmart security force there. We have the local police there. We don't know if the county sheriff or deputies was there. But one thing we do know, we believe that somewhere in the mix that the word Royce is correct.
work against us. But we love our children and grandchildren just like President, former President Mike Duke, McCullough, Lee, and present President Bill Simon. We love our children. We want to take vacations. We want fair wages. We want to work full time. We want job benefits just like you want job benefits. And we're going to continue. Make no mistake about it. We are going to continue. This is KBC out of blogspot.com, George Boster Rhyme saying bye bye. We're done.